Hey everybody, it's me Michelle and I'm back here, finally back at home and I thought it'd be extremely appropriate to show you all the crap that I got. So first, I got a navy t-shirt dress, I guess, with these little holes in a chevron type triangular pattern. It's super cute, it's super comfortable. Next, I got this cute little tied jean skirt. I love it. I'm just so excited that jean skirts are coming back. Next, I got these boyfriend jeans. I've definitely been on the hunt for the perfect pair of boyfriend jeans. I had a pair that weren't really working for me. They were good for temporary, but these fit me so perfectly, and they were only $10. Next, I got this super cute a Boston Terrier or French Bulldog print. It's nice and simple, light and white, and it was only four bucks. Like, no joke, it was 120 Taiwanese dollars, so that is about four dollars. Next, I got this leather jacket from Zara. Yes, I did travel halfway across the world to go shop at Zara. It happens all the time because Zara is one of my favorite places to go. I have been dying to get a new leather jacket since my friend lost mine and I finally got one. Next I have this neon green windbreaker which I got solely because we were at the store buying clothes for my brother and they said if you spent 600 more dollars then we can take off 200 dollars this is all in Taiwanese dollars, by the way. And so I just grabbed this one and I just like love the color. And now on to shoes. I got these white platform sandals, which I guess kind of are similar to some Jeffrey Campbell's. But these ones were a fraction of the cost. Next up, I have a pair of black chunky heels. Just something simple and I can wear with everything. Perfect height, easy to walk in. Perfect. Next I got these red and salmon laced up heels from Zara and if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen that I wore these to my cousin's wedding. Next I got these nude platforms. They're nice and simple, super easy to walk in because they're nice and nude. Wear these when I want to focus more on what I'm wearing on top rather than my shoe accessories. So. On to the stuff that I got, which I guess I got a lot of, at Etude House. I got these two Play 101 lip pencils. One in 23. This one I wore in my About Me tag and one in 19. This one I just feel like is such a pretty dark berry color. It's going to be perfect for colder weather, I suppose. They come with this little carrying case. And an eyeshadow, which I picked in a brown color. I got some gel liner that I am excited to try out because I've been on the hunt for a new eyeliner. And then I got this really pretty coral color blush. Yeah, it's this really pretty, like, peachy coral color, and it comes with, like, a nice little fluff ball. I got some brow tint. I also got some gel lotion and then I got gifted all of these stuff some essence brightening lotion cleansing foam cleansing oil moisturizer some masks more essence brightening stuff more milky foam some hair cream and a cute little shower cap. Oh, and I also got one of these bad boys. I'm excited to try, even though I'm probably gonna look ridiculous. It's a cherry lip gel patch. So I did some more shopping, and one of my favorite places to go in Taiwan is Watson's. It's, I guess, their version of a CVS. First, I always have to go stock up on some pimple stickers. These things work miracles. Like, if you've never tried these, you get a little putt pimple, and then you just stick one of these little bad boys on, and it just, like, sucks up all of that white, infectious 
goo that's inside of your pimple and then you take it off and your pimple's like all healed and I can swear by them. Swear. Lash Maximizer by a brand named Kate which is from Japan I think. I got this dual 2-in-1 CC cream. It's pretty cool. It has CC cream coming out of a tube and in the cap on the top there's concealer in there so it's a little all-in-one. Next up I got this fun lipstick which is like a chubby stick and I got it in this nice dark I don't know how to describe this, I am no makeup person, but this dark lip tone color. <laughs> and then I got this Roto's Eye Drops. We have Roto's in the States, but then we don't have this one, which is like a cute little pink one. And my eyes always get red, so I need to keep them nice and hydrated. And I got some watermelon gum. These are bomb. Some peach, some peach high chews. This was 50 cents. You get this in America and you have to spend like over a dollar on one of these. It's ridiculous. I got some more blush. This one is in a corally tone. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I like certain colors on my cheeks. I got some eyelash serum because I have the world's shortest eyelashes. They are a millimeter long and hopefully this will work. I got this cool little brush. They call it a 360 brush. I've been trying to teach myself how to blow dry my hair. It's not going too well. So maybe this little interesting tool will help me out. I got a single, no this definitely isn't a single, but it's more of like an individual lash curler. Instead of getting all of your lashes at once, I can get like a little bit the, a little bit, and then a little bit to get the inner corners. Okay, don't judge me, but I got a lot of <laughs> face masks. <sighs> they were only 40 cents each if I got 10, so I got 20. I have some, let's see. Bamboo Charcoal Volcanic Mud Extract Pore Minimizing Snail Essence Hydrating Herbal Anti-Acne 7-in-1 Brightening Essence Mint Collagen Soothing Bird's Nest Deep Ocean Water Saturide? Saturide? I don't know if I'm saying this. Saturide? Charide Isomere mask. <laughs> These ones I get to look like tuxedo mask in. They're moisturizing eye masks. So they're just gonna be like this. Some more eye brightening masks. Province lather soothing mask. I don't know. There's there's just it's there's too many. Some more candy and some more candy. Some more candy. And some chocolate is from Japan. Long ago. I saw it on the news that people were going crazy for this so I decided I had to try it out to see what the dealio was. More candy! Got this little phone case. Sully from Monsters Inc. Can't leave Taiwan without picking up some socks. Here's one, here's another, and here's one more. This one's actually for my sister because she loves tigers. Those are so cute. Hi Melissa if you're watching. If you're not, I hate you. Last, I picked up some sunglasses, some simple black aviators. Hey, do you know how fast you were going? No, bro, I didn't. And then I got a pair of like huge Clubmaster type sunglasses. These ones are my favorite. I got these the first day I was there. They're this gorgeous, gorgeous like pale olive green color. They're missing a little chunk on the bottom and unique and fun. I just absolutely love them. And then I got this cute little bag. It's like a little pouch where I get to stick stuff inside and it's the most cutest adorable dog ever aka the pug. And I just absolutely love it because he's so cute. And then when I went to the Taipei Creative Mall, I got the chance to make this glass cup with assistance with one of the teachers there. I got to blow the glass and like help shape it and, and I got to pick the color. Well, well that's about it for all the stuff that I got in Taiwan. I hope I didn't bore you too much with this long video. I will see you guys next week in my next video, and you guys know where to find me. Boom! Right here, at Michelle E. Tuan, on any social media platform. And, yeah. Bye!